Hey YouTube, I'm just going to do a quick uh, video on my solar generator. This is a portable solar generator that I built for um, using uh, when I um, go out of town or for emergency around the house. Um, it's just nice to have something nowadays with uh, current economic situation and stuff. It's good to have, it's good to be prepared and have some extra stuff around. Um, this is a solar panel I use. The charge is actually pretty nice. It um, is a 18 to 24 volt and it's foldable like a little suitcase and it's got actually legs on the back of it so it props it up which is really nice and i use that uh for small little road trips or something like that and then i just purchased this the other day that's an 85 watt and it should charge this battery from dead in about four and a half hours so um anyway i'll walk you around the box here real quick and show you what what's up um on this side i've just put a free Harbor Freight voltmeter um, that you get whenever you purchase something there. And then a battery tester you just, uh, to be able to keep your uh, check on your battery. I also installed a switch here for the fans that are inside the main box. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, I also installed a little 12 volt outlet just in the front, and that's just for charging small stuff. It's not really meant for large stuff. Um, also, the nice thing about this box is it has a little tray, and I keep a bunch of little extra fuses and flashlights and stuff like that in there, just in case I have to do any maintenance or anything on it. Um, on the side, I installed a charge controller, or a, um, a trickle charger, and it basically just trickle charges the, the battery that I've got in here, and um, I put it on a little I quick disconnect right there, so... I can unplug it because if you unplug it from the wall, that LED will stay on and it'll drain the battery. So put one of those on yours um, just so you don't have a problem with your battery going down. Uh, on the back side here, I drilled a bunch of holes and this is in the top box. And um, it basically vents out the lower section where the battery is. So those are the holes that vent where the battery is. And then these two holes here with the screens over them, those are for the fan for where the um, inverter is inside this box okay also on the other side here I installed a outdoor outlet cover so I can just run all my wires right inside here and let go of it and uh, you know it's relatively protected from the weather for the most part um, on the bottom box is a 125 amp hour marine deep cycle battery I just have it hooked up with alligator clips so I can take the top box off and take it with me without the battery, but I have all the function of the inverters in the top box. Uh, I also put two pieces of insulation under the battery like you see around it, and then I put the insulation around it just to keep it protected because I do go to cold weather. So uh, and cold weather kills batteries. Um, so. In the top box here, in the little tray that comes with it, I just put a bunch of extension cords, a power strip, a uh, universal adapter for all sorts of different charging applications, a splitter there for the cigarette lighter plug on the front, and some, some electrical tape and stuff. And then inside, I just kind of keep it full of stuff. Uh, and mostly just the accessory stuff. And then when I go to use it, I use this anyway so it comes out. Here's a little 80 watt that works really well for small stuff. I've got a power inverter so I can hook this up to my truck if I need to. And then this is a 750 watt inverter from Harbor Freight. I got it on sale for 34 bucks. Um, and it works really well. Um, I have a little block right here where I put all my connections to. And then uh, there's the electric fan. Here's an MPPT charge controller. It has a temperature wire on it too that goes under the battery. I don't know if you saw that when it was down there, but uh, that just hooks directly to the battery and keeps uh, accurate, um, or it charges your battery based upon more variables. So it works out real well. Here's the, here's the fan. And that's basically it. So I just wanted to give you guys a little look at it. Hopefully you guys are preparing for um, bad things in case you're not get prepared next up rocket stove